Hey guys, Cam McClellan. Hal Lewison. Welcome to today's Wealth Wad. How are you going? Good thing, so. Lots to talk with him. Uh, um, basic question, I saw, heard Al get asked this the other day, so I thought it um, was a good, good one to bring up. Um, it was by a friend of ours who said, all right, if you were wiped out totally, you had to start again, you had no knowledge whatsoever, what would you do to build a basic portfolio? Or how would you achieve 15 years you know, financial freedom? So, what would you do? Yeah, I can answer that really easily. Today, I'd do what I had to do to get a deposit for a house, for one investment property. I'd buy a growth property, I'd use some of the things to talk about in the wads, and I'd buy one property today, Cam. That's not going to get you there, though, Alan. No, one, one property is not going to make you wealthy. Well, what I'd probably do, because I'd make sure I buy, right, is probably in two more years, I'd do nothing for two years, I'd wait for a bit of growth, and I'd probably look to buy another two properties, because I'll be saving at the same time, and I'm getting some growth in my portfolio. All right, so we've... Well, probably three. So... You're using the growth to get a bit more, so you're up to three properties. Yep. The three properties go up in value, Cam, and I'd do it again. And let's say by year seven, I could have five properties. It's not, not aggressive. So let's say my five properties, uh, what Texas we got? Round numbers, 500 grand a property. Yeah. Mind you, since year one, guys, the first property would have gone up in value, I'm pretending it hasn't, 3.5 mil at year seven. Five properties. Then, seven properties, isn't it? I said five, five and seven. So you're saying? That's 2.5. That's seven properties. So you got seven properties. What happens over 10 years, Kevin? Just, just go. <laughs> Bad wad. Bad wad.